an air-conditioned nightmare tribute to the Academy Awards ceremony. <laughs> in air-conditioned nightmare, we watched the biblical epic, The Rosy Crucifixion. Wide screen, high definition, the last temptation, crown of thorns, bloody brow. The actor, wrapped in pain, cellophane, line of tear down his cheek. But the makeup man, the chairman of Max Factor, the makeup man will walk the red carpet, win the award, bow his head, raise his fist, thank his mother, his mother's mother. Oh, what a rosy crucifixion. Lollipops and condoms. <laughs> he left for the bathroom on the Amtrak train. She reached into his zippered backpack pouch for an aspirin. She pulled out a lollipop. When he returned, she asked, what is this? He, looks like a lollipop. She, what's a lollipop doing in your backpack? He, I don't know. What do you mean you don't know? I don't know. Should I know? I can't believe you're saying you don't know. Tell me the truth. What's it doing there? I must have bought it. I don't remember. Or maybe someone put it there. What a lie you are. I can't believe you're telling me this. I can't believe you're asking me this. We're on our way to our al my alma mater. I'm to give a major talk on my book, The Failure of Capitalism and Communism, <laughs> to address the problems facing the 21st century, and you're asking me about a lollipop. I've got to concentrate. I need your support. You're such a liar. I know how your mind works. You want one of your girlfriends to suck on a lollipop. What? What are you accusing me of? And telling me on the train in front of everybody, everyone is listening. Let them listen. You're such a liar. I'm changing my seat. I'm getting off at the next stop and taking the train back home. Please don't do that. I need you. What will they say at the university if you're not there? Let them call my lawyer. You don't have a lawyer. I'll get one. Besides, what about those massages you go to with those Chinese women? I bet they suck on lollipops for you. You're such a liar. I can't believe you're saying this. Those women are hardworking, working class women. I bet they're hardworking. Hardworking sluts. You're such a liar. Okay, maybe I bought it to freshen my breath. Sal is always offering me a mint or a Hall's cough drop when we meet. I bought it absentmindedly to freshen my breath. Look what it says on the package around the lollipop. It says blow pop. There's bubble gum inside. Don't tell me you bought this to freshen your breath. You want your Asian lady massage slut to suck on the lolly, blow a bubble, and give you a happy ending. What are you saying? Are you out of your mind? I'm changing my seat. I'm going home. Please don't. Honey, I need you. Okay. Swear to me that this blow pop lollipop is not for a girlfriend or Chinese sucking. I swear, I swear to God, I swear on my mother's grave, this lollipop is not for sucking. I didn't even know it was there or forgot it was there. You're lying. Remember eight years ago I found a condom in your drawer? What was it for? That was 20 years ago. I forgot all about it. Why did you have it? If I had it, maybe it was to protect you from STD, sexually transmitted disease, that dermatologist diagnosed me with, the water by my genitals. That was four years ago. You never used that condom with me. And how did you get STD? I swear on my mother's grave. I never used that condom. I threw it away when you found it. I'll throw this lollipop away. Give it to me, please. I will not. Maybe you and your girlfriend or Asian slut will blow the condom up like a balloon, blow a bubble and sing lollipops and roses, lollipops and condoms. 